All right, so we've finished with our one light setup. Now we've just introduced a second light, which is this guy here, another Allencrom ELC 500, but this time with a strip softbox and a grid attached. So the grid is just keeping that direction of light coming forward this way, so we don't get any spill onto our background. Uh, and this is just gonna give us a bit of an edge separation down Ashley's side here. So we've taken away the reflector and this light now is gonna do the job of the reflector by giving us a bit of extra separation to the background. I've also kind of just moved this main light forward a little bit more towards the camera direction, just so we get a little less light hitting the background. So it goes a little bit darker now. And I've still got Ashley just on this back edge, just come forward a touch. Yep, there we go. And I think we're gonna start with the pose that we're doing before where you're angling your body towards me a little bit and then just chin to shoulder. Yeah. All right, let's um, fire up my trigger. Okay, do a test shot. There we go, that's working pretty well so far. We see the background is much darker now that I've moved this light about you know half a meter to a meter forward. So there's less light sort of reaching back around to the background. Just looking at the highlights on Ashley's arm there, that background light is a touch dark. What I might actually do is turn off the front light and I'll do that by changing my group. At the moment, I'm on all groups, so all the flashes are gonna fire, no matter how many I've got on. Uh, but I've separated them into group A and group B. So our background, oh sorry, our edge light is in group B. So I'm gonna switch over to, well I should say group one and group two. So now I'm in group, two. I'm just going to bump up the power a little bit. Do that shot again. Okay, so there you go. Our edge light is the only one that's fired. Our main light has been switched off. Um, and as you can see, it's a little dark. So I'm just going to turn the power up a little bit, it's currently set to 2.0. I'm gonna take it up to 3.0 by one full stop. And just do the same shot. There we go, that's giving us a much better highlight on the arm. We don't want it to go too bright because we do want to keep detail in that highlight, which it's doing at the moment, and especially in the hair. We don't want that hair to blow out. So at the moment that is um, holding detail really, really nicely. So I'm pretty happy with that exposure. So I'll switch back to all our groups. So our main light fires again. And there we go. That balance, that exposure is balanced really, really nicely. Just not quite getting too much light in uh, that shadow side of Ashley's face. So Ashley, I'll just get you to keep your body where it is, but bring your face around a little bit more this direction. That's good. Actually, you can probably even turn your body a little bit more. That's it, just there. That's good. And just tilting your head a little bit that way. That's good. Excellent. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Might actually just get you to brush that hair back on that side just a little bit as well. And we'll just do that same shot. That's good. Yeah, cool. Just bring your chin around a little bit more that way. That's it, excellent. Cool. 
So I just changed my angle a bit like I did before. I came a little bit further around to the left here. So I'm getting a little bit brighter background. If I step the other side, let's try that. So same sort of thing, kind of looking out in this direction. Don't need to look at the camera this time. Just bring your chin to your shoulder and looking kind of down. Just a bit, little bit of bend in that elbow. So bring your hand a little bit higher. That's it, just there. Excellent. Face around a little bit more. That's it, just there. There we go, so there's that nice dark background again. And we're still getting some really nice light on Ashley's face. Probably just need to relax the hands and arms a little bit. It looks a little bit staged. So just, yeah, shake them out. That's good. And then just come back into a nice relaxed sort of pose. Yeah, probably I think Bring your, that hand, the left hand, up to your shoulder. Yeah, that shoulder, that one. And then just a little bit higher up with that hand. And instead of going straight down, just bring it, yeah, that's much more natural looking. It looked a bit bent, so that's good. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at what this, <laughs> when you don't kick your tether table cable out. I was gonna say, let's have a look at this um, as a full length. So, same pose, let's try that. Looking back to your shoulder and chin down a little bit more. That's good. Actually, can you bring that foot across a little bit more? Yep. Leaning into that knee a touch. Yep, that's it. And then just bringing that face back again, tilting the head a little bit more that way. Shoulders back to me just a little bit more. That's it. Now just chin down and eyes down. That's good. That's better, I think. So we've got some separation between your feet. Whereas what we started with before, if you want to have a look at this, actually. So that's uh, what we started with. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got you to lean forward a little bit and your foot forward. Yeah. So we've got separation between your feet. Yeah. And it also just creates that shape by pushing your backside back mm -hmm. towards the background a little bit, whereas before it was like that. Yeah. So I think that's quite nice. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So that's our two light setup. So let's um, add a third light. What I'm gonna do is bring a third light in boomed over the top, just to put a little bit of spot of light on the background behind Ashley. Now this take a little bit of fiddling to get it in exactly the right spot, but I'll, um, I'll roll it in and we'll see how we go.